a sporting not too girly at all. She wishes for me a hair look like a waterfall. I Sam season one, episode ten, the continuous part of episode nine. Where are you? Where are you? I'm right here, you dope. Oh, now you can't leave this camper until you learn my secret code, and you can't tell Sam. Why can't I tell Sam, Sarah? Because she hates me, that's why. But she always loved you whenever you came over. She always did so many things with you, and she always wanted to be with you. Yeah, that was before the last visit when you went to South Carolina. We had a big fight, and now she hates me. If she knows that I'm here, she'll practically destroy me. My hair will be cut, my arms will be scratched and bloody, so you can't tell her. I'm going to tell her no matter what. You can't keep me cooped up in here. You deserve to be told on it, and I'm going to tell somehow. You can't tell. I'm going to keep you in here, and I'm going to keep your mouth shut, and you're going to learn that code. And then I'm going to disappear and she'll never find me again. Oh, don't count on it. Give me that cape. No, it's my cape. No, it's gonna be mine. Hey, give me my cape back now, you rat. I am not a rat. You are the rat here. Fine. Fine what? Fine, call me a rat. I don't care what you call me. Why don't you care? Everybody cares. I don't. I guess I'm not counted as everybody then, Carly. Why don't you care? Because nobody likes me anyway, and it's pretty clear that you don't like me either. Doesn't your mom like you? No. My mom doesn't like me. Well, she did, but my mom is dead now, so she can't very well like me, and... My dad, he's in Mexico, not New Mexico, Mexico. He's just completely out of the country, and he doesn't like me anyway. How do you know he doesn't like you? Because I heard him say that to my mom before she died. He said that I was a rat and a wretched beast. You're not a beast? What could he be talking about? You never did anything to him. You're not anything like Sam. I know I'm not anything like Sam, but I guess I'm being kind of like Sam right now. Yeah, you are kind of being like Sam now, Sarah. Will you please let me go? Fine, just go and give me the cape. No. Why won't you give me my cape back? I'm being nice to you and I'm letting you go. Because I want you to stay. Why do you want me to stay? Sam will hurt me. I'll talk to her. It won't work. I know it won't. My mom even talked to her when she was going to do that to me that very day. It didn't even work. I still got scratched a little. I'm her best friend. She'll do what I say. I promise. She doesn't obey her own mom or my, or my mom. What makes you think she's going to obey you? I know she's going to obey me, Sarah. Stay calm. Oh, fine, I'll stay here, but if I get scratched and hurt, it's going to be your fault. Okay, I promise. You promise what? Oh, never mind. It's almost morning, so my mom's going to be up in a few minutes. Okay, are you hungry? I'm definitely hungry. I can go with some pancakes. My mom makes very good pancakes. I'll go talk to Sam, and, pro and I promise everything will turn out right. And if... Everything will turn out right. It'll be my fault. And you don't have to talk to me ever again. Okay. Uh, what is that? Is there something else in here? No, no. That's just my neighbors. It's okay. They have a dog. Oh. I'll go talk to Sam. Sam? Uh, what? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What was I screaming about? Oh, yeah, about that. Your cousin Sarah captured me. What? Yeah. So your, so my cousin Sarah is here. Yeah. I, I'm gonna get her and I'm gonna tear her into pieces. No, Sam, you're not going to. Why not? Because your cousin Sarah is really nice. She doesn't want to harm you. 
Blizzard, what was all the screaming about for? And she captured you. She deserves that. No, she doesn't. She just wanted me to learn her code. And she let me go now when she's really hungry. And, and your aunt died. And your uncle's in Mexico, not New Mexico, out of the country. And okay, okay, you can stop. She can stay and I won't hurt her. Thanks so much, Sam. I won't hurt her while I'm at your house anyway. But if I ever find her, Sam Puck. Sam Puckett, no you don't. She's your cousin. Yeah, but she she was mean to me last time I saw her. So, just because she was mean to you once, three times, it doesn't matter. We were mean to each other, and you always forgave me, and I always forgave you. That's because we're friends. You can be friends with your cousin. No, I can't. She's my cousin. She's already one thing. I'm your friend, and your best friend, and I'm your neighbor. I'm... Two things. Even if she's your cousin, you guys can still be friends. And you and Melanie are friends. No. Come on, don't tell me no. You guys are friends. Okay, sometimes we're friends. Not all the time. I know, not all sisters are friends all the time. Like me and Mariah. We even have our fights. Huh, I know. Because we're all human and everybody has fights sometimes. And everybody gets mad sometimes. Yeah, I guess so. So, let's go wake up my mom and she'll make us some pancakes. I'm going to stay in here and you can go wake up your mom. Okay, I'll go wake up my mom. I'm going to have a little bit more sleep because of all that screaming. I'm really, really tired right now. Okay. Oh. Oh. Wow, seems asleep already. Ah. Let's go. Oops. Ooh. Mom! Uh, yes, dear? And by the way, what was about, what was the, all the screaming about? Oh, <laughs> we heard a uh, door open and close and uh, all kinds of scary things, but it turns out it's just Sam's cousin, Sarah. She's okay. She's really nice. And in fact, she's really hungry. Her mom died and her dad doesn't like her and he's not even in this country. He's in Mexico, not New Mexico. Oh, all right then. I'll make you guys some pancakes, and they'll be ready in a jiffy. Okay, Carly. Oh, Mom, what you do that for? Oh, I'm sorry. Where? Can you get me my glasses? I I can't see everything. Anything? Okay, I'll get you your glasses. Thanks. She was kind of sporty, not too grubby at all. She was just for me, I had like a waterfall. 